Do you want to create motion graphics that look like pure cinematic eye candy? Well, join me on my mission to conquer the world and push After Effects to the next level by producing the cleanest motion graphics. Let's do this. All right, we have a great one here because with the following techniques, you'll be able to add any clean graphic, including these glass spheres. Firstly, we can create any shape to our heart's content with the shape tools. Then just make your shape layer 3D and increase the extrusion depth. And boom, you have a 3D shape. Just make sure you're using the advanced 3D render right here, baby. If you want to create a sphere, just create a circle and set the ellipse size to exactly two. Finally, set the bevel style to convex and the depth to 100. You know, it's a bit of a hack, but now you have a sphere as you can also increase the scale from here. Additionally, if you want a yummy donut, make that sphere a stroke only shape and increase the size and adjust the scale as you need. But now you know how to create a variety of delicious shapes, but on a serious note, let's make this cinematic. So there's two techniques to making your graphics look absolutely stunning. First is with material options. For instance, to create a studio styled reflective look, increase the specular shininess to around 75%. And then we can kind of start to see this hard spotlight coming through right here. But you know, it looks metally and not so clean. So let's lower the metal to 0% and increase the fuse to 100%. And this is getting us somewhere, but additionally, I would like to pop the specular intensity to exactly 100% to make those highlights pop. And what's cool is you can mix these settings in a number of different ways. And it's actually a good idea to create a duplicate with a different color. And this will create contrast in your final scene. We can then try to create a more, you know, flat, smooth material by lowering the specular shininess with a black shape. All right, this is all coming together and we're now ready for the second part of this cinematic equation, lighting. But first, ensure you always produce cinematic work in no time with our free templates, cinematic transitions, and motion graphics, all here in our motion dock extension, in which you can animate projects in seconds with our 5,000 presets and update any of our 45,000 templates to fit your needs. So be sure to get the free pack below and thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, now we can really get the cinematic ball rolling by creating an environment light with shadows readily checked. To really change things up, you need a light map and preferably one of a studio, and you can get my maps in the project, but you can search for free HDR eyes and set the source of the light to your light map. Also JPEGs and even videos will work as well. And finally, you're gonna wanna mess with your light's rotation to find that sweet spot for your light. You may also want to increase the intensity of your light to brighten this back up if needed. And by changing the map and experimenting with different settings, you can easily get different looks. But now we're ready for the fun part, building out the rest of our scene, which is actually the easiest part. If you like, feel free to create a light gray solid like so, make it 3D and set its X rotation to 90 degrees and lower its Y position like so, then scale it up and you'll get this shadow on the floor. Beautiful, but what's not beautiful is the floor is casting a shadow on our shape, so you can turn off cast shadows within that floor layer and you know, this is all optional by the way. Uh, but to get some animation going, let's alt click the stopwatch for the position and use something like wiggle 0.5 comma 50 to get some subtle movement onto our shapes and then start duplicating your shapes and randomly moving them around your composition in all three position axes. You can also adjust the scale of each duplicate to further the randomness. Now at this time, if you have any 2D graphics, feel free to make them 3D and have them sit on top of your floor. Then just turn off accept lights on your 2D graphics. And for a great pro tip at this point, you may wanna try using two views and setting the second view to the top to build out your scene. And also to save your computer, click draft 3d finally the key to success here is to offset the z position to create depth and to finalize i would duplicate your two shapes about 15 times in total all right this is looking really fresh and clean with the lighting and the floor which is optional like my hairstyle uh, anyway, let's talk about adding glass objects because this is everyone's favorite thing right now. However, as the bearer of bad news, you unfortunately cannot import or create glass objects directly into After Effects at this time. But nothing is stopping you from searching for a glass PNG of an object that you want to place into your project. Again, you get the assets that I'm using below, but as you can see, we can make the image 3D and apply the same wiggle expression to the position and then turn off accept lights. And that's really cool. Feel free to populate your scene with your new glass best friend. 
But when that's all said and done, let's take the scene even further by adding a little pre-movement. To do this, create a handy dandy camera, then add some keyframes for position and point of interest. And from here, use the camera tools at the top to either dolly out of your scene or above your scene like so. And you know, it's just up to you what you wanna do. And lastly, you should be able to duplicate all your 3D graphics that you have in your scene and reposition them to fill the void in your heart. I mean, composition. Uh, but for the finishing techniques, consider pumping up your render options and it doesn't have to be over the top or anything, but feel free to click fit to scene as well. Also try using the curves effect on adjustment layer to dial in the specific look that fits your taste. Absolutely stunning. Subscribe to be the best, go out there and always be creating.